So when Christ came in um, Luke 19, he said, I know you're an austere, I know you're an austere ruler. I know you're a king that don't play. No, you, 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 you can be fierce. So I decided to just bury my talent. I didn't do nothing with it. I stayed lazy, stagnant, didn't do nothing. Didn't, wasn't fruitful in any way. So what the hell are you talking about? You could have taken my talent and at least deposited it in the bank and I could have got some interest. You could have done the smallest thing and something fruitful would have came out of it. You're lazy behind you, faithful, wicked, and unprofitable servant. And had the angels kill him. Don't want me to rule over you. Don't want to do it my way. Put him to death. So that's why Christ said, all them that say to me, Lord, Lord, not going to make it. That's why we have to make our salvation sure. And people, Israel always has this false sense of security and arrogance and we're Israelites and whatever we do is right because we got the heavenly father. We got the most high. We got Yahuwah. Well, who told you that the most high's name is Yahuwah? What name did the Most High? What what name did the Most High have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob tell us? That's who we come from. That's why we have a chance in these last days for salvation. Because the kingdoms for Israel, because of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because they were chosen and they're eternally righteous. And they obeyed the Lord, and they the Scriptures account their righteousness and examples. So, where did they tell us the Most High's name in Hebrew or in, or English or any right? correctly translated scripture, Spanish, anything correctly translated. Where do they say it? No place. It says in Exodus 6 and 3 that, um, you know, by, um, I, forgot, I forgot what the, the name is, but by God Almighty was I known to, um, and there's different Hebrew dialects. I'm not going to waste my time saying it because it, it doesn't matter. It's not the true Hebrew. But the point was that, my name was God Almighty. That I was I basically, he told them, they referred to him as a title. So even though they were serving him and earning righteousness and the Lord blessing them and increasing their spirit and making some of their children holy so they could keep that holy lineage, all this beautiful blessings and true eternal blessings and being chosen, they didn't know the Most High's name. And then all Israel does is talk about the Most High's name. So much so that even when a true servant shares to them, the first thing they'll correct, oh, his name is name not Moses, name not Lord. You know, you got to wake up, brother. You know, and that's the ones that have less evil and hatred and blindness. So at least they're trying to help in their lost mind. So they, you know, there's, there can be some minor dialogue. Some of them will finish with F you or whatever, or, you know, F you, you blind nigga, drop dead. When you, when you don't bow down to their words or the words of men that they're quoting. And, you know, some hear, some hear and receive, but that's many a call, few were chosen. But if they rejected all the prophets and murdered them, then obviously even in these last days, that's consistent behavior. Not knowing the most high, but carnally trying to oversimplify serving the most high. So, all right, so let's say I, I, I give into your name just for argument's sake. Um, let's say, okay, his name is Ahaya or Yahuwah or Yao, and then there's going to be a new name next week or several new names. Like every week there's new names. Every Israelite group has their own name, their own dialect of Hebrew. Okay, fine. So let's say I choose this dialect of Hebrew. Uh, they got to me first, so I'm, I'm, I'm drinking that Kool-Aid. What else do we got? Okay, now I, I, I didn't say Lord, I said Yao. Beautiful. Now, okay. So now, if I just say, oh, you're going to keep the other words as being quoted? Because if they would hear the other words, then they, they would, that would offset someone that's saying words precept upon precept with the Lord's spirit like that. Even if you have a different perception, humility or knowing any scriptures or being just a regular babe able to admit, damn, I don't know them scriptures. I haven't even seen them before, much less seen them like that. Let me take a moment to look at them like the righteous in the scriptures that they didn't know the scriptures either. When the disciples came to them in Acts 17 in Berea, rather than be rude to them like the ones in Thessalonica were and reject them, the ones in Berea were more like of a ready mind. They were following, sacrificing animals and doing all the things that show they didn't have understanding or that was the acceptable righteousness at the time. You know, but ultimately they didn't know the Lord. 
because Israel wasn't serving the Lord. Even the ones that sacrificed animals or did some or a couple of the commandments, they didn't know the Lord in any way, shape, or form. That's why we were in slavery under the Romans and getting hacked to pieces even when we we're trying to worship the Most High in Luke 13 and couldn't do nothing about it. And then had these wicked leaders in Israel hacking and killing our people in unrighteous judgments. So we were catching it. Merciful Most High sent Christ to set things straight. Fortunately, some Israel heard, most of them didn't. Many a call, few were chosen. But what's the constant theme? Israel thinks they know when they don't. That's the last thing that should happen to any of us. If you can hear this word and understand it, that's the one thing that should never leave your heart. The death of Israel is they think they know when they don't. That's why the Most High said, woe unto you that call evil good and good evil, pain and sorrow until eventual death. Woe. Constantly talking, constantly thinking they know. The ones that know were the most quiet. The ones that know were the most like, let me examine this, let me double check this. That's why the Lord says, someone that's wise, they have an excellent spirit and they keep quiet. And then when they speak, wisdom comes out. They know when to speak, when not to speak. And they're always worried about that. They're always worried about the important things. The things that will give them salvation or not no matter how much wisdom they have. And then the most, I will give them wisdom of the other things and mysteries of the other things. And then rather than focus on that, they're still going to stay in doing the things that got them those blessings in the first place. That showed them how to love better. showed them how to look in the mirror and discern and judge themselves better. The proud in one hand out the other, got their own Lord. They got their own way to go and do things. Rather than learning, the Lord gave us the Bible to show the history of our people always not listening. We're seeing it today. Can't be ignoring that. Can't be joining in that death walk. Going into these bloody, stupid Facebook groups. You can scroll for days. All you're going to find is foolishness. All you're going to find, what are we teaching? You so-called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Rican. See, y'all don't know the Hebrew. See, you know, you, the white man ain't eat them. All you're gonna hear is devil doctrine. Some of them are less vulgar, but the ultimate thing is still filth and lies and being false prophets. All these false prophets that know they're Israel, are there any of that don't or that aren't false prophets or that are soft spoken until they come to light and they'll bite your head off like a werewolf? So that's why we have to walk in light. We have to let our light so shine before men. This was a hard nation. They don't listen to the most high like they don't and behind enemy lines and getting fricasseed, getting punished more than Israel in any time in history been punished and they still proud. Mm -hmm. While overlooking where the most high said he hates a poor man that's proud. <laughs> you know, hey, wait a minute, I'm poor. Let me double check to see if I'm proud. Nah, nah, I ain't. Ah. The most high hates a poor man that's proud, nigga. Still missing the point. Still can't. So fam, you know, we'll pause there. Um, well, we already paused, but I'm just like, 